Okay, we're back again and we're gonna set up the product slider sortable table uh, slash drag and drop tool. And we're actually gonna go over to the actual demo site to um, check this out. So there's a couple reasons why we're gonna do that. Dave? Um, yeah, uh, the main reason we're going to do that is in the demo site, we already have a whole bunch of reviews set up, so it'll be a lot easier to show you how it works and show you how it looks on the front end without having to set up all those first in our, in our setup theme. Um, all right, so uh, the first thing to think about when you're going to set up these product sliders is, if you remember correctly, in the other videos, we set up our uh, custom product type called cordless drills. Now the sliders, sortable table, and drag and drop tool, um, it's not like table press where you just type in the information from each row. Um, the whole purpose of this is to basically set up one of the sliders, or you can display it, you know, one of the multiple ways. Very quickly from a drop down, add the different reviews you had, and then it's going to pull all the information in automatically into those reviews. So you can set up a new slider within just a couple minutes and have it pulling in all the necessary data. And you can you can display it as a slider table or the new drag and drop tool. Um, so what we're going to do first is we're going to come over to sliders and tables, and it doesn't say and drag and drop tool because there's really not too much room in that menu item, but that gets grouped in everything along with these. So we're going to go ahead and click Add New. Now in your typical title field right here, this is just going to display on the back end and it's for your own management. So we're just going to put in New um, Slider Test. So what we're going to do is it gives you slider ID for quick reference in case you learn the short code and just want to type them in quickly yourself later. You can reference these. Um, so then we're going to come down here, and this is the title that's going to display for your slider, slider table. So we're going to set this to slider display table. So we can see that on the front end. And now, since we already have some different reviews set up in the back end, um, all we have to do to add different things to this is you know, add as many products as we have reviews. And we'll actually only have three reviews set up in here, but that's enough to demonstrate it. And then we can set these to whatever we want. And you can have as many as you want in here. So we've named the back end title, the display title. We've added the products. Now we're going to click Publish. So once your reviews are already created, that's all you have to do to create one of these sliders and tables, much faster than using table press or something similar. So what we're going to do next is come over to another page. Um, let me refresh it here make sure we pull in our new slider. So this could be any page on your website that has your basic content editor right here. So what we're going to do is you'll see a button here called Add Slider and Table. So you put your cursor where you want this to display in the text, click the button, and now it's going to give you a drop down and let you choose one of the sliders that you've created. So we'll choose the one we just created here called New Slider Test. And then you can choose whether you want to display it as a slider table or drag and drop comparison tool. So we'll start with the drag and drop comparison tool. So all you do now is click the insert short code for slider and you'll see it inserts a short code right in here. So if you could if you learn if you memorize or learn the short code right here, you can just type this in wherever you want to display one of these. And as I showed you in the other page where it shows us our slider ID right here, that's what goes in the ID field and then the type is going to go in the type here. So if we just go ahead and click up to update our page here, and then we'll view it on the front end. So here's the page before we added it. We'll go ahead and refresh it. And within just a few steps, now we have our working drag and drop tool. So here's the display title we set in there. Now you can go ahead and click any of these, drag them up in there. And now your visitor is able to come in and review them side by side. If you hover over one of the rows, you know, it'll highlight all three of them for you so you can compare the statistics between them. You can choose whether the top of it links to the, your Amazon link or the full review or nothing. And then you can also choose which links to show here. You may want to show just, and you can also name the text of these links. Um, you may want to have only a link that goes to your Amazon pr product. You may want to have a link that only goes to your full review. But what I usually do is give people the choice on which one, 
they want to do. But I always make the link to the Amazon website, the affiliate link, stand out more than the others. So now if we come back over here and change this to slider, oops, I missed an S, and go ahead and update it. And then come back over to the front and refresh it. You'll see all those products are now displayed in a slider. So you can go ahead and use that as well. And then you can also go back and put table in the type and everything will real quickly switch to a sortable table, just like people are familiar with setting up with table press. And once your reviews are created, that's all there is to adding a drag and drop tool, product slider, or sortable table.